This is the first chapter of civics class 6. The title of the chapter is Our Community Life Unity in Diversity. First, we should know about our national anthem. The question may be raised in your mind that what is national anthem? Every independent country has a national anthem that is the pray for the nation. In Indian context, we may say that Janagan Man Adhinayak Jaihe Bharat Vagi Vidhata is our national anthem. Its translation in English is You are the ruler of minds of all people. Dispenser of India's destiny, your name roses the hearts of Punjab, Sindh, Gujarat and Maratha and Dravid and Urisha and Bengal. It echoes in the hills of the Vindhyas and Himalayas, mingles in the music of Yamuna and Ganga and is chanted by the waves of the Indian Sea. They pray for your blessing and sing your praise. The saving of all people waits in your hand. You, dispenser of India's destiny, victory, victory, victory to thee. Very first, it was sung at Calcutta session of Congress on December 27, 1911. It takes 52 seconds for its total completion. The original poem written by Rabindranath Tagore and was translated into Hindi by Avid Ali. The translation of national anthem in Hindi is Bhartiya Janta Ki Adhinayak Aapki Jai Ho Aap Sabhi Logo Ke Man Ke Saasak Hai Bharat Ke Niyati Ke Anusar Aap Ka Naam Punjab, Sindh, Gujarat Or Maratha, Dravi, Dorisa Or Bengal Ke Dilo Par Raaz Karta Hai Aap Ka Jai Ghos विंध्य और हिमाचल की पहाड़ियों में गूंजती है यमुना और गंगा के संगीत में है और भारतीय सागर की लहरों में है वे आपके आशीर्वाद के लिए प्रार्थना करते हैं और आपकी प्रशंसा गाते हैं हम सभी लोगों की बचत आपके हाथ में है आप भारत की नियति का ध्यान रखें आपकी सदा भी जय हो जय हो जय हो इट वॉज एडोप्टेड बाई द कंस्टिट्यूंट असेंबली of India as the national anthem on 24th of January 1950. Let us know the facts of our national anthem at a glance. Our national anthem was composed by poet Rabindranath Tagore in 1911, originally in Bengali language and was first published under the title Bharat Vidhata in Tattvobodhini Patrika in January 1912. This song was translated into English in 1919 with the title of Morning Song of India. Now our next topic is community life and its necessity. What is community life and why do we need a community? Man is called a social animal and a society provides them security and support to everyone. So we should have a society. Human needs, requirements and necessities compel them to live together and extend mutual cooperation. This is called community life. For example, or for the instant, we may say family, school, neighborhood, etc. are units of community life. Community life and its independent interdependency. What is community life and its interdependency such as family, school and neighborhood? How much these units are necessary for our life what is community and its interdependency is our topic in our day-to-day -day life we require the services of farmers tailors electricians plumbers shopkeepers teachers doctors and many more specialists and skilled workers the interdependence in every sphere of life promotes a feeling of togetherness belongingness and social well-being. This paves the way for continuous development of the community life. So community life is necessary for our life or our way of life. What are the roles of family, school and neighborhood in our community life? This is important topic to be discussed. What is the role of family in our life? The family is the first school. It is regarded as first school in our life and this is also called the smallest unit of the community. It means family meets our demand, learns such as speaking, walking and civic values like discipline, dedication, honesty, patriotism, obedience, truthfulness, sacrifice and cooperation. These things help the child 
in the development or his or her personality these civic and moral values are called sanskar in hindi so this sanskar is necessary for all what is a school what is its role for the development of individual a school is an integral part of our community it not only imparts education but also trains us in the art of community life in fact it makes us good human beings capable of making positive contribution for the betterment of the community so a school is very important and integral part of our community life what is neighborhood neighborhood refers to everything that surrounds us whether living or non living things every indi individual as well as community whether at the village level city or state level national or international level needs a friendly neighborhood without a friendly neighborhood development process may be lessened what is diversity diversity is our next topic as you know india is a vast country and diversity refers to the existence of variations of different characteristics in a group of people ek group ke logo mein alag alag jo characteristics hain alag alag jo unka lakshan hai unki visheshta hai usme variation honi chahiye this is diversity these characteristics could be everything that makes us unique such as our cognitive skill and personality traits along with the orientation culture and cultural background so in short term you may <coughs> say the diversity refers to the existence of variations of different characteristics in a group of people now we should know uh, diversity and unity in diversity that is the characteristics of india is diversity exist in india this is the major question of this chapter yes india is a country of many diversities we speak different languages have various types of food celebrate different festivals practice different religions what is unity in diversity actually india's diversity has always been recognized as the source of its in strength our indian constitution also recognize it when the british ruled india women and men from different cultural religion and regional backgrounds came together to oppose the british rule in his book the discovery of india jawaharlal nehru says that indian unity is not something imposed from the outside but rather it was something deeper and within its fold the widest tolerance of belief and custom was practiced and every variety back acknowledged and even encouraged it was nehru who coined the phrase unity in diversity vividhta mein ekta ke bare mein pratham pradhan mantri pandit jawahar lal nehru ne apni pustak bharat ki khoj mein likha hai ki bhartiya ekta koi bahar se thopi hui cheez nahi hai balki yah ek bahut hi gehri hai jiske andar अलग अलग तरह के विश्वास और प्रथाओं को स्वीकार करने की भावना है इसमें विविधता को पहचानने और प्रोत्साहित करने का भी जोश और भावना है यह नेहरू ही थे जिन्होंने भारत की विविधता का वर्णन करते हुए अनेकता में एकता का विचार हमें दिया लास्ट टॉपिक ऑफ दिस चैप्टर दैट लद्दाख एंड केरला लद्दाख इज अ डेजर्ट इन द माउंटेन इन द ईस्टर्न पार्ट ऑफ जम्मू एंड काश्मीर वेरी लिटिल एग्रीकल्चर इज possible here since this region does not receive any rain and is covered is snow for a large part of the year there are very few trees that can grow in ladakh or in this region so it is called cold desert of india ladakh uh, and the other name of ladakh is cold desert of india but what are characteristics of Ladakh region pashmina shawl are chiefly women in kashmir buddhism rich tibet bhaya ladakh and ladakh is also called little tibet islam was introduced in this region more than 400 years ago and there is a significant muslim population exists here 
Ladakh has very rich oral tradition of songs and poems, local versions of the Tibetan national epic and Kesar saga are performed here and sung by both Muslim and Buddhists. Let me study about Kerala. It is a state in the southwest corner of India and it is surrounded by the sea on one side and the hill on the other side. A number of spices like pepper, clove and cardamoms are grown on the hills. It is the spices that made its region an attractive place for traders. Kerala practice different religious religions such as Jainism, Islam, Christianity and Hinduism and Buddhism. These are the main religions followed by the people of Kerala. Let us discuss about the keywords of this chapter. The first keyword is basic amenities. Adhar Bhut Subhidhaayen kya hai? Simple facilities like drinking water, pollution, free environment, these are the basic amenities. The second keyword is bonded labor, a practice in which employers give huge interest loan to workers whose entire family then labor is labor at low wages to pay off the debt. Arthat ye ki jab koi employer apne employee ko kam wages pe कोई लोन दे देता है और लोन का भुगतान उसे कम वेज पे काम करके चुकाना पड़ता है तो उसे हम बॉन्डेड लेबर कहते हैं इंडस्ट्रियलाइजेशन क्या है व्हाट इज इंडस्ट्रियलाइजेशन द प्रोसेस इन विच अ सोसाइटी और ए कंट्री ट्रांसफॉर्म इट फ्रॉम द पॉपुलैरिटी फ्रॉम द प्राइमरी सेक्टर और प्राइमरी एग्रीकल्चरल सोसाइटी इन द बेस्ड ऑन द मैनुफैक्चरिंग ऑफ गुड्स एंड सर्विसेज जब एग्रीकल्चरल सोसाइटी से अपने आप को इंडस्ट्रियल सोसाइटी में कन्वर्ट कोई देश करता है तो उसे हम इंडस्ट्रियलाइजेशन का एक प्रोसेस कहते हैं व्हाट इज़ इंटरडिपेंडेंस डिपेंडिंग ऑन वन अनदर फॉर फुलफिलमेंट ऑफ वंस नीड एक दूसरे पर जो निर्भरता है इसे हम इंटरडिपेंडेंस कहते हैं अनटचेबिलिटी क्या है दिस इज अ प्रैक्टिस इविल प्रैक्टिस कंसिडरिंग और ट्रीटिंग वन पीपल इन अ सोसाइटी एज अनटचेबल और आउट यानी एक सोसाइटी में जब किसी को अछूत समझा जाता है वही अनटचेबल लेट अस डिस्कस अबाउट द एम सी क्यूज ऑफ दिस चैप्टर द फर्स्ट एम सी क्यू इज द स्मॉलेस्ट यूनिट ऑफ कॉमनली लाइफ इज एंड द फैमिली इज करेक्ट आंसर इट इज़ वेरी इसेंशियल टू कीप द इन्वायरमेंट द आंसर इज क्लीन एंड ग्रीन इकोनॉमिक डेवलपमेंट हैज मेड विलेजर्स एंड सॉरी विलेज एंड टाउन्स एंड द करेक्ट आंसर इज क्लोज टू ईच अदर Fourth question is which one of the following festival is not a harvesting festival and the answer is Diwali we fill in the blanks of this chapter several families living close to one and one another form a neighborhood is right answer community life promotes the feeling of togetherness and the third fill in the blanks is depending on one another is called interdependence education makes us a good human being is correct answer and india is mainly a land of diversity is correct answer section c name the first school of a child the answer is family name the harvest festival of tamil nadu answer is pongal what makes the fulfillment of our needs possible community is right answer what forces the villagers to migrate to towns and cities and its answer is search of job and education fifth question of section c is which factor has diluted the impact of india's economic progress and its answer would be rapid rise of population baki ke sabhi question answer aap is slide se dekh kar ke note kar lenge dhanyawad agar aapko ye effort acha laga to zarur like share subscribe kar dijiye